You should always have a reason when you communicate with others. Either you want someone to know something or do something. Remember, your communication strategy should be focused on your audience and exactly what it is you want them to do. So actionable communication is about inspiring others to take an action. Simple statements like click here to learn more, please share, contact us or tell us what you think are calls to action that you see a lot of in communications nowadays. They are a good starter point because they are easy to do and they lower the barrier for action or interaction. But it's not enough to, to ask people to do something. You have to tell them why. Make sure they understand what the benefit of that action is for themselves. Remember, audience focus is key to successful communication strategy. And in this case, when asking your audience to take an action, you need to make sure they understand very clearly what's in it for them or others that they care about. This is why you have to take the time to build purpose into your communication strategy. You have to be clear about the purpose or mission of your project so that you can convey that in an authentic way others can connect to. This is your why. Only by knowing your why, you can connect to other people's why. So always start there with a purpose. And make sure that your purpose is not a technical approach as such. Connect it to people. Purpose in communications usually has to do with what it means to people. Even if it's a technical approach in general. And then think about how this purpose can inspire others. This goes back to understanding what your target group needs. What would inspire them in the moment when you're communicating? Really think about what people need to feel inspired and build that into your strategy. Make sure your target groups understand your why as a project. Show that you understand the situation they are in as stakeholders, beneficiaries, taxpayers, then it is far more likely to make them want to take the action you're asking for. So build that in early and often to all your communication plans and activities. What are you asking them to do and why should they do it? Now, why is it so important to have actionable and not just informative messages as part of your communication strategy? For starters, it provides excellent metrics on whether your communications activity is resonating. If you're asking them to take an action and they do it, you can easily track the success of your communications. And the flip side is also true. If they don't take action, it gives you a chance to reassess your strategy and tweak it quickly to ensure it does resonate. Equally important, is that action is a natural part of how people communicate today. We get and share information through social media, most of us, primarily. We cannot forget that the world we live in as communicators, that's where we're operating in. Given that likes and shares are the currency of the day, it's critical that you provide an action for your audience to take so that your messages can spread to others. Now, finally, action is what you really want. That's why you're communicating in the first place, even if the action is for people to learn more and become aware of what you're talking about. So stay clear about that for yourself. Make sure you understand that your ultimate goal is for others to take action. This will help you check in with yourself and your strategy. Is the action is this strategy action-oriented? If so, great. If not, take the time and try to build action into your strategy. Yeah.